You can never visit ancient Inca sites too many times because every time you go you always find something that you haven't seen before. That's how complex a lot of the ancient archaeological sites in Cusco are. Presently we're at Chinchero and Chinchero is not one of the more popular tourist destinations but it's incredibly fascinating because here we find not only the wall that you just saw but examples like this these very strange cut out surfaces in the bedrock this is most likely a hard limestone and this is what Jesus Gamara of Cusco and his father Alfredo before him would call Hanan Pacha, which is the first world or the first uh, period of creativity, supposedly by humans, in the area of Cusco and the Sacred Valley. And now descending quite a massive Inca period staircase and across the terraces, which again are of the Inca period. Now the thing is that what most tour guides and books won't tell you is the fact that of course the Inca were here, were profound <coughs> uh, constructors of terracing systems, housing, palaces, roadways, etc. But what most don't take into account is the fact that before the Inca there were most likely two very highly advanced civilizations technically superior to the Inca and in some ways technically superior to us as hard as that may be to imagine. The Inca toolkit as it were consisted of bronze chisels copper chisels and stone hammers and with that they were able to create immense terracing systems very sophisticated roadways but what they were not capable of creating and the same is seen in Egypt as well is structures and carved stone outcrops that could not have been achieved with such simple tools so terraces, of course, such as those you see behind me, it's quite clear how they were made, why they were made. They were made for agriculture. Houses comprised of many stones are houses. But how do you possibly explain that? Here we have a stone outcrop and all of these facets and planes are carved into it. Now this would unlikely be a quarry because so little stone relatively is removed. But the question is, if it wasn't a quarry, what possibly could have been the function? And here again. We see this uh, shaped wall. Some might call these stairs, some might call them seats. But the amount of effort involved to remove the material is very puzzling. Also, the weathering on the stone, it's hard limestone, so it's not as hard as granite, but still, the weathering would indicate not tens or hundreds of years of wear from rain and wind and sun, but probably thousands. And that would put these back long before the existence of the Inca, who appeared in Cusco and the Sacred Valley, by most accounts, about 800 years ago. And again, according to Jesus Gamara, whose website is theorigintour.com, there are not five, ten, or a hundred carved outcrops like this in the area 
of Cusco in the Sacred Valley. But he says 5,000. That is curious. Now this is quite a odd feature. A triangular cut in this massive limestone boulder. And then even more odd or curious is this carved out area. Mining, doubtful. Uh, quarrying, doubtful. Strange other cuts here. And proceeding up the stairway. Again, another big cut. And if life couldn't get stranger, it just did. In this lower section, which is a potato field, we find these cutout shapes. And two quite massive stones, for some reason, put together. So let's look on the other side. Very odd and very bewildering. The question being, when was this done and by whom? The Gamaras would probably either call this Hananpacha, the oldest culture, or Uranpacha, which is the culture that came after that. And after that were the Inca. Examples of this, this is a small specimen in comparison to others where you have very tight-fitting joinery like that. Sacsayhuaman above Cusco is the classic place. So if your explanation is that with, the, uh, with enough time and with enough manpower they could have achieved all of this, I think you're deluding yourself. And a more ridiculous explanation would be, well, these people had a lot of time on their hands, which is completely untrue. These people had to grow and harvest their own food. They didn't take their bank card and go down to Walmart. Not to put anyone down, it's just the profound nature of what is in Cusco and Peru bewilders engineers, architects, geologists, historians, and many other people. If you'd like to join me at some point, www.hiddenacatours.com.